Hi. Being that I feel that this video is going to be pulled off, thanks to a blamer saying there must be no future for those outside of the prophet of Islam, I'll be using this video to record, to bring my attention to. Sorry. So, I'll try to make some eye contact with you though. Okay? So, yeah. I'll continue this thing here. By the way, um, when I use uh, the Muslim's words, I'll be using this on my face, plus doing a semi Fu Manchu accent. And when I do my words, I'll be using this side. Okay. All right. Moron! If you can give me, if you can give reasons as to why I'm a moron, maybe you will prove you aren't takiyaing, lying for Allah. You say, if you can give reasons as to why I, I quote moron quote, you are a you are a moron because you don't read what you post. You hope, and you don't even understand the other party's argument. You wish? This makes you a double moron. Well, by your standard, do you understand my argument? Yeah. Do you understand my argument? You say, quote, maybe you will prove you aren't a caring lion for Allah. If you give reasons instead of projecting, which you just did, that would help prove you aren't a caring uh, lion for Allah, for sure. Why would I lie for Allah? How else will you uh, be able to defend uh, or, or kind of defend Islam? Is this what you do for worshipping? Questioning a Muslim is uh, worshipping? And why would I even prove you anything? Well, uh, when you accuse someone of being a moron, and you don't back it up with evidence. How is that not to kia in? You know, lying for Allah. Go educate your ignorant ass first, moron. Well, again, when you accuse someone of being a moron and you don't back it up with evidence, how is that not to kia in? Lying for Allah. Tip. Alaka meant lich 1400 years ago, too. If so, then find an Arabic dictionary written before. We knew embryos are never blood clots, not even for 40 days, like Sahih Hadith has Mo saying. That's my pet name for Muhammad. And I'll believe you, okay? Find that Arabic Hadith. I mean, find that Arabic into English dictionary first, though, okay? By the way, if alaka means leech instead of congealed blood, then, uh, then that means Arabic has two names for leech. You know, who knew that Arabic, who knew that Arabia um, was such a marshy, marshy, wet place to have two Arabic words for leech, huh? Don't believe me? Put this word, and here it is, put this word into Google Translate, please. So don't need, a, so you don't need an ancient English Quran. No, I just need an ancient Arabic into dictionary I, I, no, right. I, 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 no, I, I just need an ancient Arabic dictionary to see that there are two Arabic words for leech. I need to see alaka not as this, uh, which is the real and original Arabic name for leech, but as, but as leech instead of clot or congealed blood. Find the Arabic dictionary, please. By the way, I'll be making a video where leech in Arabic still means this instead of alaka. I have a feeling the day will the day comes where this word in Arabic uh, will no longer be found, and you will only have alaka meaning leech, and never having it mean clot of congealed blood. I have got to make that video before the Muslims change history again. And thanks to this, I now have it on video. In case they do change, I can say, see, they're changing history. They're trying to make it mean uh, leech instead of uh, blood clot. No, they're trying, yeah. <laughs> That's it. They're, they're trying to change the word meaning here. 
Logical question, logical question would be, how come the English-speaking Muslims have failed to translate the true meaning of the word alaka? Don't tell me. Because, but because they are all in cons- but, but don't tell me, but because they are all in conspiracy to make Islam seem like it was off the top of a very evil desert par- pedophile pro- uh, pirate who knew nothing about embryo- embryology, true? You may piss off now. I haven't uh, consumed enough water yet. You say, you hope? You are hopeless. Hopeless? You say, you wish? So is that the other way around, you moron? Hmm? And then you say, well, by your statement, do you understand my argument? Indeed, lay moronic and biased. In what way? You say, if you give instead of projecting, which you just did, that would help prove you aren't taking in line for Allah for sure. See what? See, I, I told you, you don't read. I bet you mean I don't read into things, true? You say, uh, how else will you be able to kind of defend Islam? Oh, so you're attacking Islam, huh? <laughs> uh, what did you think I was doing instead? Uh, you say, questioning a Muslim is quote worshiping, unquote. So, you neither have the sincerity nor the intellect to question a Muslim. You sure about that? Instead, you're doing this just for fun. It is pretty lame. Just for fun? You say, well, again, when you accuse someone of being a moron you, and you don't back it up with evidence, how is that not to keep line for Allah? Again, you don't have to prove me you're a moron. I already know you are. Tip. Takiyah is not lying for Allah, but for yourself. If so, what happened to martyrdom? If you're not lying for Allah, but for yourself, well, aren't you placing your life over the value of your belief in Allah? Don't Muslims say, quote, we love death more than you love life? It sounds, uh, sounds like that is Takiyah, lying for Allah then. You yeah. know? I called you a moron because your arguments are baseless and your conclusions are lame. What is one of my conclusions? Can you name one to prove you aren't just resorting to personal attack as your only defense for a religion that allows Muslims to rape captured non-Muslim women like ISIS and Boko Haram are due with the first part of Quran 424 in mind when they couple that scripture with Sunan Abu Dawud 2, 20 and 50? And he hasn't responded to me. Let's see, how much time do I have left here? I got some more time here. Okay. If so, then find an Arabic dictionary written before we knew embryos are never blood clots, not even for 40 days, like Sahih Hadith has Mo saying. And I'll believe you, okay? Find the Arabic. Okay, that's the exact same thing I did. Here it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll continue here, okay? By the way, if alaka means leech instead of congealed blood, then that means Arabic has two names for leech. Who knew that Arabia was such a marshy, wet place to have two Arabic names for leech, huh? Don't, uh, don't believe me? Well, put this word, here's the Arabic, uh, into Google Translate, please. The word, and he gives the, he gives the Arabic here. The word means three things. All three things are 100% compatible with human embryo. Yeah, oh, excuse me, he gives this thing. And he says, uh, that word means three things. All three meanings are 100% compatible with human embryology. Now they do. Yeah, now they do. How much you want to bet that before we discovered that embryos, that an embryo is never a congealed blood, the word alaka only meant blood clot. After all, Muhammad says in Sahih, authentic hadith, quote, then it becomes a clot of blood, not then it looks like a bleach, but quote, then it becomes a clot of blood, which he goes on to later say it's uh, f- for 40 days in duration. And he hasn't responded to me there. Uh, so another time I say this, um, oh, I mentioned the same thing again, yeah, okay. I've got to make that video before the Muslims change history. Moron, are you suggesting that Arabs are changing their language? If adding extra meaning to a word is changing their language, then in a way, yeah. Uh, show me an Arabic into, di- into English dictionary before we knew embryos are never blood clots that has Surah 96 called 
uh, the clean leech like substance. You know, find me one that says an old Quran that says for Surah 96, uh, the clean leech like substance. Or has the ayat uh, saying, uh, who created you from a leech like substance? You know, find it, please. You know, find an old Quran that has it that way. Moron, you are suggesting that Arabs are changing their language uh, and the way they speak and write so that Quran is never proven wrong? Well, again, find an Arab an Arabic into English dictionary before we know before we knew embryos are never blood clots that has Quran Sir 96 called the clean leech like substance or has the ayat saying quote who created you from a leech like substance you know, find that Quran please you know, find it please ha 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 well what the moron you are show me an Arabic into English dictionary before we knew embryos are never blood clots that has Surah 96 called the clinging leech like substance or has the ayat saying who created you from a leech like substance you find it please tip Quran says so much with minimal words how much you want to bet it will now say more for instance spread it like a carpet now means shaped like an ostrich egg shaped like an ostrich egg how much you want to bet in the not too distant future alaka will mean ball of living dividing cells which an embryo truly is and instead of saying spread out like a spread out shape shape like an ostrich egg the Quran will no longer say spread out flat like a carpet but instead say the earth we that's all it shaped it like the moon which is how the earth really is shaped that is round I better stop it here yeah bye